MQG T-Flow charting enables you to see more than just the volume of the last trade. You now know whether the last trade was done by a buyer or a seller. Welcome to an overview of CQG T-Flow charting. This two-part video walks you through the features and functionality of CQG T-Flow charting. T-Flow offers not only quote data, but also insight into who the aggressor is, the buyer or the seller. To open a T-Flow chart, right-click the Chart Toolbar button and select T-Flow. T-Flow bars are built upon the inside market. The low is the best bid and the high is the best offer. High volume T-Flow bars are bright and wide. Low volume T-Flow bars are narrow and dark. Completely red T-Flow bars indicate all of the trades were sellers at the bid price. Completely green T-Flow bars indicate all of the trades were buyers at the ask price. If half the trades were at the bid and half were at the ask price, then the bar would be 50% red and 50% green. The key benefit is the color coding and the width of the T-Flow bars indicate high volume and low volume periods. All green T-Flow bars indicate all buying and all red T-Flow bars indicate all selling. The default version of the width and color brightness of the T-Flow bars is based on the relative volume of the T-Flow bar compared to T-Flow bars in the look back period. Three techniques are available in the preferences to determine the current bar's volume relative to the volume history. The three choices are percent ranking, percent of average, and actual. Percent ranking compares the historical volume over a preset lookback period and is ranked by size from the smallest to the largest. The current bar's color width is determined by which of the four percentile rankings of the distribution of the volume history the current volume reading lands in. The default range of the percentile rankings are 0 up to 10%, 10% up to 50%, 50% up to 90%, greater than 90%. The percentage of the average sets the four colors and widths based on the percentage of the average of the previous same session's volume. Zero equals volume that is above and up to and including the previous session's average volume times 0%. 10 equals volume that is above and up to and including the previous session's average volume times 10%. 50 equals volume that is above and up to and including the previous session's average volume times 50%. 90 equals volume that is above and up to and including the previous session's average volume times 90%. If the previous session's average volume is not available, then the percentage values are treated as actual volume values. Actual volume sets the four sets of colors and widths based on the current bar's volume being greater than a traded volume level, for example, greater than 5,000 contracts. The preferences threshold parameters are set traded volume levels and the bar's volume is compared to them directly. For example, the levels could be set to 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, and 25,000 contracts. If the current bar's traded volume were 7,500 contracts, then the color width would be based on the second group 5,000 traded contracts. This concludes part one of an overview of CQG T-Flow charting. Thank you.